Good morning. British citizens on the run. Yeah, this happened in Switzerland. So 420 British citizens came to this ski resort in Switzerland to have a good time. I'm sure they were looking forward to it. They came just before Christmas. And then they were put, on, put in quarantine. All of them. Yeah. They were told they couldn't leave. And you know what happens when you're told you can't leave. You leave, don't you? And this is exactly what happened. Fifty of them left the first night. They waited until dark. Then they escaped. It's like a prison war movie or something. On Sunday, 12 of them were still there. So it's like 400 British citizens on the run. <laughs> it's great. Some of them turned up in France. You know, these bureaucrats, I think they have the time of their lives. They can do things like this. No questions asked. In the name of science. Yeah. Well, I'm sure about this. It's illegal. What, whatever they do, it's illegal. Yeah. In all these countries, all these restrictions, locking people up, closing down businesses, it's illegal. I'm sure of it. Yeah. You know, this guy in New York, this gym owner, I talked about him some time ago. He was told to close down his gym. He didn't do it. He refused. This went to court and he won. They can't do it, really. Another thing that I know is illegal is the actual shot. It hasn't been tested on animals, you see. That makes it illegal. Somehow it just they just do it anyway, right? But it's actually in the Nuremberg trial. They made the decision. You can't put anything inside another person's body unless it's been tested on animals first. You know, because the Nazis, they did experiments on humans. So, I'm sure. This shot has not been tested. They don't know what's going to happen. You see? Yeah, it's a mess. Well, there are two things that is sort of making me happy these days. The first one is this. You know, these top globalists and the drug companies, all these guys, they are never happy. They have constant problems. Yes. And I'm sure they have a problem with all these people who will now refuse the shot. They don't laugh. Well, maybe they laugh if somebody is suffering or something, you know. But they don't. They have a miserable life. And that is making me happy. Another thing that is making me happy. As I, actually this, you know, all these people who will now happily take the shot, some of them I like, you know, but actually uh, these are people that I have no respect for. No. They don't ask questions. They don't want to know. They don't want to find out what is in the shot. If there's any side effects, they will just take it. They will accept authorities. I despise this. Yeah. I have respect for people who want to know. Yeah. They will find out what's in the shot. Yeah. What could happen to me if I take it. So these are people that I respect. And they will not take the shot. Yeah. The other ones will. It's sort of making me happy. That you have, you see this sort of separation here going on. I don't understand these people. No, I don't. They don't think, it seems. No. They just listen to somebody and they say, Oh, all these people who will not take the shot, they are fools, you see. Uh, and they can't explain why. Because they themselves, they, don't, they have no idea what's in the shot. And no idea. You can just ask them, so you know what's in the shot, right? Because you say that everybody's a fool, you have to know something about it. But they don't. 
I heard somebody say the other day, well, they spent a lot of money on this, must be good. <laughs> well, well, I have no respect for these people. All right, be good.